قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا بأن يسلم وتنا يا I do not come from an Arabic background I can come from a Pakistani background so we used to have this translations of the uh, Quran of course you know, whether it's in English or in Urdu whatever and usually the translation says all the believers ya ayyuhalladheena amanu taqullah be afraid of Allah or be fearful of Allah haqqa tuqatihi that in the right way that he should be feared وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا بَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ And don't die in a stage where you are not a Muslim. From the start, because I come from a very religious family, extremely religious family. And when you are a youngster, that extreme religionism you have a life, do you? You know, when you are a youngster. And I come from an extreme religious family. One of my maternal uncles, a lot of people, especially from Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, they are aware of his name. His name was Dr. Isar Ahmed. He is a very, very known scholar of the Muslim world. So, because of that family background, that setup, it was like right from the beginning. The envisioning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the mind that to be afraid of him was like someone with a big sword standing there, you know, oh, you have to be afraid of me. You know, that kind of attitude. When you go to the mosque, the masjid, scholars keep on telling you, you are going to go to fire because he is going to sit send you to the hellfire and all that and you know all the time we create so much negativity around Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at a stage of my life when I when I started understanding the concepts and that doesn't happen all of a sudden Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's extreme help is needed in that you know so that you really understand the concept then I came to know that we are being told of a totally different face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Rabb, that <coughs> creator who created us, who gives us every blessing, every single breath. When I went into medicine, I knew what a breath is. <coughs> you got COVID very recently. Did you realize how important oxygen is if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't keep it that way? When it comes to the hands of the human, it is black marketed in such situation, getting a small cylinder of oxygen. Because it's human. <coughs> Selfish. Me. When it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he doesn't want you to be afraid of him like you are afraid of a policeman or you are afraid of someone like who can punish you all the time. What's important? Ya ayyuhallazina Be conscious of Allah. <coughs> all of us sitting here at some stage forget about the other love, talk about the motherly love. How much you are scared of your mother? Are you? Why? Because you trust in her love, isn't it? Whatever, whatever wrong you will do, you will go to mama, mom, I made this mistake, sorry. And you know, she will just take you in her lap and so you will pray. So my son is fine, it's all right. Don't worry about it, I'll take care of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the example of his love to his people. His people. As 70 times of that of a mother. Do we trust him? Or 
be conscious of him. Even equivalent to one mother. That is a big question. I leave a question mark here to think about it. Be conscious is being wary of the of that feeling of despair, you know, that, that your loved one would feel when you go against him or against her or against the guidance. It's just being conscious of that. Ya aman Be conscious of Allah. Let me change the translation here. Be conscious of the way that you need to be conscious. Allah says, we all hear that in Arabic khutbah when we do Arabic khutbah anywhere. That woman, who is obedient to Allah and His Prophet, he got the guidance. He's on the right path. And who does not, does not obey, gets into disobedience, <coughs> then remember, you cannot make a harm to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can only make it to yourself. That consciousness, that love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who gives me water, not in the bottled form for it to be everywhere, free. Who gives me air, who gives me oxygen to breathe, who gives me my relations, who gives me time, who gives me health, who gives me risk. And it is such such a, such a misunderstanding that people consider risk only as the earning. What we earn is risk. Ask the importance of health to a rich man who can't eat anything. That's risk. It's not only our earning, it's not only in terms of money that we make. Every blessing that we get from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is risk. And He keeps on giving us that risk. Even without what we have to deliver, even if we don't deliver, He keeps on. My brothers, what's important here is we need to understand what to be afraid of, what to be fearful of, what to be conscious of. That disappointment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, wa inna insana kana kabood. Insan ne never becomes grateful. What is the First surah of Quran, Al Fatiha, where does it start from? Alhamdulillah. All praise be to God, all thanks be to Allah. And that is where the Quran and the guidance starts. Have you ever realized what we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Fatiha? First three ayat. Only Praise, isn't it? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim The Blessed, the Merciful Maliki Yawmiddin Admitting Owner of the Day of Judgment The first three ayahs Only praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Then You make a big claim <clears throat> Very big claim we only worship you. What and we only seek help from you. Do we really? Do we really? 
every other step of our life, every other step of our day, we change gods. We change gods. Not in term of God, but in term of thinking, oh, this person can benefit me if I do this. This person can harm me if I do this. We don't believe that any good or any bad would actually come from only one personality, and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we have to do something good, we don't do it in favor, in the, in the anticipation that we will get the favor returned. No. We do good because our Allah and our Prophet وسلم, told us to do good. If we stay away from something wrong, we do it in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We only worship you and we seek all benefit only and only from you. So what did we ask? After making our claim, after doing all the praise, what did we ask? What is the biggest task of human? Please guide us to the right path. And then we make sure that what, what path? We are clarifying it. Sirat al I want the path of those people who are blessed by you, not the one who got astray from path. Have you ever thought who gets astray from the path? Who was on the path? Who was on the path? Then, then, Forget about shaitan, very big personality, that's not my error problem. Let's talk about us. We keep blaming everything on him. In Ramadan, he comes out and he says, I'm, I'm, I'm prison. What you are doing? Come on, you Muslims, what are you doing? So he curses us and he tells us, I am prison. Okay, if I'm not prison, then your Allah is speaking lie to you. Now to be that, so when how to be that? But I am present. But what are you doing? You are making extra profits. Christians are better than you on the time of Christmas. They are doing what? Concessioning people. At the time of Eid, at the time of Ramadan, what do we do in our shops? MashaAllah. Allah, give us more, give us more. We are helping. Okay. Drink Ramadan 31 days so that we can have one extra day profit. Come on, please. We need to look into Kia, not actually into Shaitan. People, people of the book could be here, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about, who has strayed from the path. Okay? We ourselves, we have strayed from the path every single moment. But that is what is important. And that is where that ayah comes back. Ittaqullah. The way Allah wants you to be conscious of Allah. What would you do if you don't? If you don't do it that way, it's not just a disobedience. Be conscious, don't die in a situation where you are not actually a Muslim. And don't die in a state where you are no more Muslims. Be careful, brothers. It's extremely important. What is our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What is required from us? And how much we actually are conscious of that? We will make mistakes. It's like a children, you know? They will make mistakes. You don't disown them. Unless they do something so gross <clears throat> that you disconnect from them. So I was going back to Surah Fatiha 
when we when we request all this, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says immediately, Alif Lam. We don't know the meaning of it. But we know the next. Zalik al Kitab. This is the book. There is no doubt in it. Now go back. What did you ask? Give us the right path. What Allah is responding to immediately after? This is the book. There is no doubt in it. And this is the hidayah. But for those who are conscious, it's not for everyone. He didn't say nas there immediately. No. He does talk about Quran as nas later, but not immediately after. He makes you conscious the actual right path because you made it very specific. Which one? Sirat al Part of the people who were blessed by you. Not who got us straight from the path. No, not from those. Okay? So you didn't say give us the right path. You made it very specific, a subset of population. This is the kind of the right path you want. He said, okay, fine. This is the hidayah for muttaqin. People who are conscious. When they become conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we become conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believe me, brothers, and I am not speaking from the perspective of books. I am actually speaking from my own personal experience. That he makes all the universe around you your teacher. Every single thing teaches you and polishes your experience with him. Provided you start to become conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wherever you go, wherever you, you run away, he takes you from here and brings you back to the path. It's such a beautiful relationship afterwards when you start becoming conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the most important thing. If we don't become conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, then we have to be very careful because Allah says, Then don't die in such a picture where you are not even Muslim anymore. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the inheritance. <coughs> All praise be to Allah the Beneficent, the Merciful. I seek His help and forgiveness, and we all seek His refuge from the evils of our own selves. No one can ever mislead the person who Allah decides to lead to the right path. And no one can show the right path to whom Allah decides to astray from the path. And I bear the witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Prophet Muhammad wasallam is His worshipper and messenger, who He sent with the truth and the guidance as the deliverer of the good news and the warning. The one who obeyed Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got the right path and the guidance, but who disobeyed them both cannot harm anyone but one's own self. And remember nothing and no one can ever bring harm. Nothing or no one can ever bring harm to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I seek Allah's refuge from the, from the cursed Satan. Indeed, Allah and his angels send prayers and blessings upon the messenger. So, O oh, believers, you also must send prayers and blessings upon him. O oh, Allah, accept our prayers and blessings upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, your worshipper and messenger, and also for all real believers, men and women, and all Muslims, men and women, and bless Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his wives and his children with your barakah, and bless his companions with the highest reward in heaven. Inshallah, Ameen. O oh, worshippers of Allah, may Allah shower his mercy on you. Be careful and conscious of Allah. Indeed, Allah orders you to be always justful, merciful, 
and virtuous and he orders you to take care of the take care of and sacrifice for your relatives and he who orders you to stay away from the vulgarity disbelieving disobedience and time wasting he preaches you and warns you so that you take the advice and remember him always keep remembering allah so that he keeps remembering you and pray to him so he accepts your prayers and indeed remembering allah is the best thing بارك الله لي ولك ولسائر المسلمين إنه تعالى جبار الكريم ملك الموت الرحيم الصلاة.